tradition of the New England states dating back to the Civil War. I wanted to share the final paragraph of that story because it crystallized to me what it is to be shipped off to harm's way. Mr. Bennett stated, the military is today a very different institution than the one Shaw, Standard, and Chamberlain, all Civil War heroes, served in. Warfare, warfare is more complex, more specialized, more mechanized, and more bureaucratic. It requires a level of professionalism unimaginable in their day. But the citizen-soldier ideal is still embodied not only in the National Guard, but in the young men and women from Worcester, from Rutland, from Hampstead or South Portland, and he certainly could have put Burlington in that uh, list, who volunteer for active duty hoping to serve and fight and then someday take off their camouflage and come back. As has always been the case, not all of them will. May God bless all those who have gone before. Thank you. The sights and sounds from today are planted into their memories, like a seed that over time may grow into an understanding of the insignificance and importance of this day. When I was asked to speak this morning, I began to think about what this day means to me and why I believe it's imperative that we pass the torch of remembrance onto future generations so they will understand what a precious gift they have. Here are a few of those thoughts. During my last tour to Iraq in 2004, I saw how difficult it was for the Iraqis to comprehend this new concept of freedom we were trying to bring to them and to take hold of an ideal that they had never known. Back here at home, I see how easy it has been for our younger generations to take for granted that freedom which they have always enjoyed. So here we have two opposite ends of the spectrum, and our challenge is this. On the one hand, how do you explain to someone the cost of something they are attempting to acquire? And on the other hand, how do you explain the true rarity and value of something that has become so common? New Hampshire's official state motto is live free or die. The uh, histor history boss here this morning will correct me if I misquote it, but I, I believe Patrick Henry shared the same sentiment a little differently when he proclaimed these famous words. If you know them, say them along with me. Give me liberty, or give me death. What is it about this freedom and liberty that our founding fathers and past generations would have rather died to obtain and preserve rather than not have? I believe that right down to our DNA, we are wired to live a life that we, that we as individuals choose and not one dictated to us. That being said, how do we place a value on that? I think we can agree that the giving of one own life, one's own life for another is the ultimate sacrifice from that premise, we can say that the cost of freedom has always been, and will always be, paid with the blood of the men and women who willingly give their lives to preserve our way of life. 
We have determined the cost to obtain and preserve freedom. Now how do we appraise its value for future generations? Throughout history, gold has been the standard for payment, and it represents one's wealth. If you bought gold many years ago, you have seen it multiply in value over time. Our country holds its wealth of gold in a repository, such as Fort Knox. I would maintain that today you are sitting and standing in a repository, and here in this repository, on these grounds, is held the collective payment, or value if you would, of the freedom we cherish the value of which is priceless. This week, several of us will deploy for training and service in Iraq. Sometimes I ask why I do this. I answer this way. You do not question why a fireman responds to a fire or a policeman responds to a crime scene. Do not wonder why I answer the call to serve. It is right, it is honorable, and it is a privilege to carry on the service or protecting this country. Today, we mourn the loss, but also celebrate the lives of those valiant men and women who gave their lives in the belief that it was worth the price to pay. In closing, take a moment today to pause and reflect on our time here together. We have fanned the flames of remembrance by coming here this morning. Leave here with a torch burning brightly. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America.